You might remember in Dreamweaver CS 5.5, one of the big features was the support of PhoneGap inside of Dreamweaver. In other words, the ability for us to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to build native applications for Android and iOS devices. With Dreamweaver CS 6, we've updated that PhoneGap support to include support for the PhoneGap build service, which makes it even easier to build native applications for multiple platforms, all using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's take a look. Here in Dreamweaver CS 6, I've built the Pluralist application using jQuery Mobile. And now that I've got it all done and I've tested everything out, seen that it's all working exactly the way that I want it to, I want to wrap this up as a native application. To do that, I'll simply go to my site menu and down to the PhoneGap build menu. Now there are two options here, PhoneGap build settings, where I can specify the location of my SDK and PhoneGap build. To create my application, it's as simple as clicking this button. You'll notice the PhoneGap build service panel opens, and I can choose to start the build service. Now this is going to contact the PhoneGap build uh, servers up in the cloud and ask me how I want to create this project. Do I want to work on an existing project or create a new one? Since this is the first time I'm building this, I'll create it as a new project. I'll click Continue. And that's going to tell Dreamweaver now to talk to the PhoneGap build service and begin to upload the files to create the application when I click the Rebuild Application button. So here we go. And we can see now that as the, uh, the files have been moved up to the server, the server has begun to build our individual applications. Now, you might notice one, the Symbian, is just completed. As the other is complete, you might notice that our iOS is telling us there's a signing key required. Now, this is a requirement of Apple. So what I need to do is I need to uh, go to the apple.com uh, developer site, sign up as an iOS developer, and provide information about my iOS devices. And that, in turn, gives me this signing key that I can uh, add to my profile up on the PhoneGap build service. And once I've done that, then PhoneGap will be uh, able to build those uh, applications for my iOS. Now, I've done it simply for Android and BlackBerry, WebOS, and Symbian. So now I have a choice as to how exactly I want to proceed. I can choose, for example, if I'm interested in Android, to download the APK file, the actual application, to my computer and then transfer it over to my phone. If I have the SDK installed, I can emulate the application. Uh, and then we've got that funny symbol that we've seen over, uh, over and over here lately, the QR code. What is that? Well, it's the easiest way to get this application onto my phone for testing. I'll simply click the QR code and we can see there it is. That's the QR code. Now all I need to do is simply take my phone and aim it at that QR code using an application that identifies uh, those codes and we'll see what happens. So here I have my Samsung Galaxy S2, an Android phone, and I've got Google goggles fired up and I've just actually aimed at that QR code. And oh my goodness, there it is. It's telling me build.phonegap.com. Yeah, it's linked directly to the application. Let's go ahead and click that, and that's going to link us over to build.phonegap.com and ask to download our application, which is exactly what we're doing right now. That is really simple. So I'll give it just a second to get down to the phone, and then we'll go ahead and install it and see what we've got. It's now completed the download, so we'll just tap it, and we can say, hey, we're ready to build this application. Let's go ahead and install that. We've installed it. We'll open it up. So here we have our, our application. This is a native application that was built with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can see I can tap, go to my list, perhaps find a store. Let's say I'm going to be in Los Angeles, see where they've got a store. I can see information about it, tapping into all the native pieces of the, the device itself, even the ability to call. Moving back and back to my home screen. Again, this is a native application that was created with jQuery Mobile, HTML, CSS, JavaScript inside of Dreamweaver CS6 
using the PhoneGap build service. Now, I've just shown you the Android version, but as you saw, I have multiple versions. I can build for iOS, Android, Symbian, BlackBerry, all with the click of a single button inside of Dreamweaver CS6. This is really going to open up new possibilities for web professionals.